It's really important that we integrate neighborhoods. But voting districts, we want to keep those segregated. Juxta progressive. For decades, progressives tried to social engineer society through desegregation of communities, things like forced busing, while at the same time supporting laws that mandate minority-dominated communities for the purposes of voting power. Sections 2 and 5 of the Voting Rights Act of 1965 prohibit jurisdictions from drawing electoral districts that dilute the votes of protected minorities. Shouldn't those who supported the forced busing of children for the purposes of desegregation also support the desegregation of congressional districts? In the 1970s and 80s, under federal court supervision, several school districts implemented mandatory busing plans. Some of these busing plans are still in use today. These people that praise diversity actively campaign to keep congressional districts black and white. Why is it so important to maintain diversity within a school, but we have to keep congressional districts segregated? I'm just saying, maybe it's time now we start forced busing of members of Congress. Okay, I see. Maybe like a Mike Lee to New York? Okay, that we works. Could do yeah. like a Hank Johnson to Utah? Wonderful. Maybe ship Maxine Waters off to like Arkansas? Whoa, 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 we live in Arkansas. That's not oh, gonna... Yeah. Maybe like Alabama. Yeah, the Alabama. Uh, mm -hmm. 